One of the major questions of theology, especially for us who believe in evangelism, uh, throughout history actually, but more intensified right now because of the reality of multiple worldviews, ideologies, religions all living close together, is the problem of those who have not heard the gospel. If there was one issue that I could somehow eradicate from scripture, it will be the problem of hell. But I've got to submit to the authority of the Lord Jesus and the propositions of Scripture concerning the future destiny of all people. I am grateful to say that there is clarity in the uniqueness, exclusivity, the sufficiency, and the universality of the Lord. There's no other name under heaven given among people whereby we must be saved. So I am not free to rewrite Scripture. However, the reason a person will go to an eternal destiny that's conscious and away from God is not because he or she has not heard the gospel, it's because he or she has not responded to God's initiatives in creation and in circumstances. Now if he or she has heard the gospel in addition to having seen general revelation and still rejects the gospel, he's doubly condemned. So nobody will go to hell because he or she has not heard the gospel. Our conviction is also, as they respond to what they know of God, God will send them the message that they must hear before they die. I say this very, with a very heavy heart because I come from a country which is people rich. India is over 1.2 billion, 1.3 billion pushing of people, most of whom have not heard the gospel, which stimulates and inspires more work, more energy, more sacrifice, more faith, more vision, by which we must somehow get the gospel to them. My final statement on this particular question other than reading my book simply goes this way nobody will be in hell who should not be there God is just and God is merciful nobody will be in hell who should not be there and God is more just than you and myself but the other side of that same line is that nobody will be in heaven who should not be there either. So we've got to do all that we can to depopulate hell and populate heaven. So go according to the clear doctrines and convictions of Scripture, even though it's very difficult to believe it. Act on it. There's no question that you'll ask that I've not asked before, that others have not asked before. And I found answers already. Study it, think about it, pray about it, but most importantly, act on behalf of those who have not heard.